Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good Thursday. Um, so this is my final video before Christmas, before Winterfest, if we're talking in Sims terms. Um, so today we are working on a motel building, which is really exciting. Um, it's not a build that I've ever made before, so it's quite nice to do something completely different. So yes, that is what we are working on today. So this build kind of is a bit of a like mystery so the exterior looks really pretty and it's like you know inviting to all of the customers who walk by and then when you actually stay here and you realize how gross the inside is then it's a different story so it's kind of like a really pretty exterior and a very unpleasant interior so it was very fun making this build i haven't built built some of this ever before so it was quite nice to do something completely different although like I said it sometimes is a challenge and it makes you like want to like not do things when you haven't done it before because it takes you longer because you're not sure what you're doing um but once you've t trialed it out and you've tested it and you know you play around with it and you either learn to love it or you really still don't like doing it but I actually did really enjoy this build um I built it really late at night um when I couldn't sleep so this is my go-to thing when I can't sleep lately guys is just making a lot a lot of builds um but I really like how this turned out I think it's really cool I think it's so cool that we can actually do this now and we can all live in a little room but this idea was kind of more for it to be in like an actual motel I'm not really sure how that would work in game but um obviously they could like use it as a rental instead um instead of a residential rental it would just be a rental so it's kind of like for rent but slightly different um i wasn't really sure what way i wanted the rooms to be laid out because i know i wanted it to kind of be like hotel style but like motel style obviously but i didn't want them to all have like a fully functioning space they do all have a bed a toilet uh, a mini fridge do they have a mini fridge maybe i didn't give them a mini fridge i don't think i did I should go back and do that actually. <laughs> I just think I gave them a mini fridge. Um, they've all got a microwave and a kettle, I do believe. They've all got a dresser, um, and other than a mini fridge, they've got everything you would need. Um, obviously, you can still cook with the um, microwave, so all is well. Um, but yeah, so it was really fun to make this because I did use a lot of the mould that came with for rent, so it was quite fun to play around with that. Um, I'm not sure whether I used um, mould from any other packs, that's a weird sentence to say. Um, I don't think so, I think it was just for for rent, um, but I'm not sure. It's really frustrating trying to say for rent, for 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 rent, it's just sounds silly. But anyway, so I did go ahead and add in some like tufts of grass as well, because I thought it would kind of be a bit overgrown, you know, not like not amazingly well kept but like the outside still looks really inviting to anyone who's coming here and then they realize how gross the inside is and it's got kind of like beds that they found in the dumpster that was <laughs> the sort of vibe obviously they're not actually but um i think in game these beds are actually found in the dumpster so that was quite funny um they kind of look a bit like prison cells in a way just colorful prison cells um <laughs> But I do really like how it turned out. I think it'd be quite a fun idea to like rent one of these places with one of your sims. Maybe they've like, I don't know, I just think it'd be cool for a storyline. Um, I think it'd be cool if you had like an argument in the family and like one of the parents like moved away or like went to stay in here or like a runaway teen or something like that, you know. Just a dramatic story that I thought it might be quite cool to have a place like this where you could like make a storyline and you could include it in your builds or in your gameplay or whatever you wanted. Um, so we did include a little room downstairs as well for laundry. Um, so yeah, we have that as well. I'm not sure how well it would work for actual gameplay because I haven't really played around with For Rent too much yet considering I was so excited to get the pack and I haven't actually played it all that much because I haven't been well for like, well, nearly a week. Um, so that kind of put a, a spanner in the works but other than that, I've been building a lot so what's new? Um, I really do like the new items though. I definitely, I don't know whether I recommend it enough yet because I haven't fully like explored it, but I do really like the world. I think the build stuff is cool. Um, I'm not like in love with the build stuff. I like it, um, but I do prefer other ones, but I definitely dislike others more. So it's kind of like a, a middle ground. Um, 
but I can't really give my full opinion yet because I haven't really explored everything. Um, so that is where my thoughts are with it all at the moment. Um, but as you can see, we're now just working on the inside. Um, actually, I didn't include a kettle, I included a um, coffee machine. Close enough, it's sort of the same thing, not really. Um, <laughs> I should add mini fridges in though because that would make it a lot better. Um, but yeah, um, so I did go ahead and add in these like really gross drapes as well because they'll kind of like fit it all together a bit better. Um, I didn't want to make it like too disgusting, but I still want it to look like not well kept, you know, because I can kind of feel like motels wouldn't be exactly the most glamorous of places, but they wouldn't be like awful, they're not like unlivable, but you know still not the best so I do really like how it turned out but I do feel like it's kind of bare when I was making it I was like I really like it but there's just a lot of empty space so I tried to like fill it up as best as possible but it was kind of difficult because obviously if it's like a hotel room you wouldn't have like loads of stuff in there and especially if it's not a nice hotel room you'd have even less so it was quite difficult but they do still have a fancy dresser so they can't complain too much it's the best thing in that room honestly um but yeah I'm nearly getting my voice back guys, that's a plus, so that's always good. Um, but I am going to end the voiceover in a moment, obviously the video's nearly up, but I just wanted to say, I hope you all have the most wonderful Christmas. I thank you all so, so very much for having the most wonderful year here on YouTube. I've reached the YouTube Partner Program and I've gained so many of you wonderful subscribers and just people who are supportive to my channel and just, you're so great. And I just really appreciate each and every one of you. So I hope you all have the most wonderful Christmas. I will probably see you guys next week, but it will be after Christmas because I've got some time where I'm on my computer editing then. So I will probably see you guys next week, but either way, I hope you all have the most wonderful Christmas. Thank you all so, so very much for everything that you've done for me. And I will see you guys soon. So Merry Christmas all. See you soon. Bye. Talk a ring and say